Hey there, my fellow DeFiers. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of DeFi Deluxe. So I talk a lot about the Ethereum ecosystem, but for this episode, I'd like to look at the DOT ecosystem. Polkadot has come a long way since its inception a few years ago. Headed by former Ethereum CTO, Dr. Gavin Wood, Polkadot has a lot of very exciting projects about to launch on parachains this summer. Parachains are essentially sidechains that run dApps, decentralized apps, and connect to the main DOT relay chain. What's so cool about DOT is that it's not necessarily trying to be an ETH killer. In fact, it's a much bigger picture than that. Blockchain networks are essentially silos, right? So they run independently and they can't talk to each other or other blockchains. So DOT's main focus is to connect the different blockchain networks together in order for them to be more interoperable. Let's dive into some of the projects. Polka Starter is a great place to uh, start. That's because it's a fundraising mechanism for new projects that want to launch on Polkadot. It's built similarly to an ICO, the vehicle that led the frenzy of fundraising back in 2017, but it's much more than that because of some advanced features like cross-chain swaps, fixed and dynamic swaps, anti-scam features, full KYC integration, governance model, and permissionless listings. They use what's called a fixed swap pool to maintain the token price throughout the sale until the initial supply is bought. With a fixed price in an initial Polkadot offering, the community can buy the tokens at a much fairer price. As one of the very first projects on Polkadot's ecosystem, the Polka Starter token has been out for a while. It's sitting at $4 right now, and it's got a pretty decent market cap of $240 million. But as you'll see in the last 90 days, <laughs> holy cow, it did this huge run up, and then it has now been faltering uh, quite a bit with this um, recent market slump. So this may actually uh, be at an attractive entry price for some now. And Polka Starter also has a number of partnerships, one of them being Moonbeam, which is the next protocol I'm going to talk about. Moonbeam is another one of the most highly anticipated projects launching on DOT with their Ethereum compatible smart contract parachain. They aim to make developers' lives easier by allowing them to deploy existing Solidity smart contracts to Moonbeam with minimal changes. The devs don't have to rewrite their code to get it onto Polkadot or even other blockchains. Moonbeam works directly with MetaMask Wallet and has a fully functioning bridge that talks to the ETH blockchain. If you take a look at the projects already being built at Moonbeam, you'll see the one we just talked about, Polka Starter, as well as three others that I'm extremely bullish on, Ocean, Chainlink, and SushiSwap. These, by the way, are the projects that really attract me, the ones that are not maximalists, but know that we are going to live in a multi-chain world, and therefore they are already looking to build on Polkadot and some of these other ecosystems. Another interesting thing about Polkadot is that all projects are required to successfully launch on DOT's wild cousin chain, Kusama, first. Also known as a canary network, Kusama allows projects to be fully tested in a production environment to ensure that all the kinks have been worked out before being deployed on DOT. Therefore, they will first launch the river token to govern Moon River, the test environment, before they finally launch the actual Moonbeam network with its governance token, Glimmer. This is going to be an exciting one to watch. Next is Fala. If you've been watching me, you know that I'm super bullish on all privacy-related projects in crypto. Being that most of crypto is completely open and transparent, confidentiality will be needed for certain privacy-sensitive applications. Fala is all about implementing privacy for the DOT ecosystem through a hardware-based confidential smart contract. Not only will it act as a native cross-chain token for confidential apps and widgets, but it will also be used for trustless privacy data computation and exchange, as well as joint risk control, which can come in handy with things like multi-signature governance. This is what I would call a layered network, and it's built for developers, so you know what that means. As fellow YouTuber Crypto Chico says, follow the devs. If they start utilizing follow when building, it could blow up big time. And they have been working with the next protocol I'll be talking about, Akala. Akala Network recently participated in a cross-chain demo with Fala, and being that Akala is a decentralized financial hub for Polkadot, this combination allows for a private DeFi hub somewhere in the range of Zapper, which is awesome to think about. Because this represents something more similar to bank accounts, which are private to other individuals, but not the bank itself. 
And what's so cool about the hardware-based encryption is that the private data will actually be sectored off on hardware security devices. So this works similarly to some other proof of stake networks on Ethereum where node operators, in this case called gatekeepers, run cloud servers, which do all the validating to ensure that the data actually stays private. Akala's token has not been released yet, so beware of any scams and make sure to follow them on Twitter to stay up to date. For the last project I'll talk about today, Hydra DX really has my blood flowing. That's because after doing some deep research on this protocol, all I could say was, wow, this is some game changing stuff. That's because Hydra DX aims to be the mother of all liquidity pools and is proving to be a novel invention when it comes to smart pools. They call themselves a multi-headed liquidity omni pool and will provide cross-chain liquidity by acting as one giant pool for the whole ecosystem. It sounds super ambitious, but if it turns out to be successful, it could enable cross-chain liquidity pools to unlock some very cool use cases for frictionless cross-chain swaps. Hydra DX will be powered by the HDX token, which was released a couple weeks ago in the form of an ERC-20 on Ethereum. Liquidity for blockchains is completely fractured right now, which means that all the money stays on its native blockchain, right? So if you want to move money from ETH tokens into DOT, right now you'd have to do it on an exchange. But soon, cross-chain liquidity will mean that anyone can move any assets to any blockchain. Powerful stuff. And though their token launched a couple weeks ago, there isn't much 24 hour trading volume, as you'll see, because the tokens are currently locked on Ethereum as they are only meant to be minted into HDX to use on the Hydra platform. So you can find out more details by following their Twitter and checking their website. However, the token does only have a market cap of 53 million, making it much more of a small cap than say Pokestarter. But well, that's all I have for you this week, folks. Thanks for tuning in and please hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell to be notified for all the latest DeFi content. And as always, this is not financial advice, but I really think that Polkadot is going to be very innovative in the crypto space and therefore I am super bullish for its future. Thanks everybody and I will see you next week.